An eight-year-old boy sends an email to NPR asking why they're not reporting on more cool stuff. Well, that sets off a viral response, making its way to a local paleontologist. Because, as I found out, if you're looking for cool stuff, it's got to be positively San Diego. Why did you write the letter to NPR? I wrote it because I thought the news was too dark and it did not cover as much good stuff as I hoped. Rest assured, eight-year-old Leo Shidlin in Minneapolis is probably not the target audience of NPR's All Things Considered. But the long-running news program is a favorite of his parents while they're driving, and Leo is often along for the ride. Yes. And day after day, I think we, my wife and I both hear like, why are we only talking about COVID or politics? Why aren't they talking about dinosaurs? And so, good stuff. Or, or good stuff. And so, you know, the feedback from my wife was to Leo, like, you know, maybe you should tell people your ideas. Which is exactly what Leo did, sending an email to the local NPR station, pointing out with the pure honesty of a child, the true meaning of all things considered. Leo writing in part, I never hear much about nature or dinosaurs or things like that. Maybe you should call your show Newsy Things Considered, since I don't get to hear about all the things. Or please talk more about dinosaurs and cool things. Email. <laughs> well, I sent it in. An NPR producer posted Leo's note to Twitter with a promise to do better. And the response went viral. And we had a little bit of a laugh on it. And then we just kind of watched it. You know, within 24 hours, 30,000 people have liked that. Even Hillary Clinton piped in, tweeting, what's the plan for course correction here, NPR? Asking for some grandchildren. The search was on to make amends. Leo, for you, the coolest uh, dinosaur fossil, I think one of, the, one of the cooler dinosaur fossils that UCMP has is Dilophosaurus. Enter Dr. Ashley Poust, research associate at the San Diego Natural History Museum. I was connected up with, uh, with Leo through you know, a long chain of other scientists. Ashley and Leo met via Zoom with a focus on cool stories about dinosaurs that Leo loves to share. I know that the Dilophosaurus was not how it was like in the movies. It did not have frills nor spit venom, and it was around 20 feet tall or long. What are you holding in your hand right now? A Dilophosaurus from the <laughs> yeah, man, quick drop. A learning adventure and friendship sparked by an honest email from a child and adults who were listening. I'm an introvert, kind of. I kind of stick to myself, but then once you spice me up, I'm all out there. <laughs> Elio's father says the family travels a lot. One of their favorite things to do is to visit museums. Dr. Paust has extended an invitation to the family to be sure to visit the San Diego Natural History Museum should they take a trip to Southern California. And if you have a story that is positively San Diego, we'd love to hear about it. Send us an email at tips10news.com.